see if she burns the meat now. But before we get to Mrs. M cooking on the new Blackstone, and you got to be seeing a lot more of that because it's all new recipes, right? We're at the 24 units. You guys know the drill. New stops, new tub drain, new shower valve. I believe we got two. There's two units here, and I believe I got one more unit to completely demo and turn over, and we've already started doing finish on some other units. So moving right along, here's the old P-trap. You guys know the routine. Cut it out, get it back to the threads on the inch and a half. Brass nipple sticking out of the old 2 by 8 and uh, save the threads. And if you don't save the threads, you use a rubber clamp. But we're trying to save the threads so we can thread on a female adapter. There, there it is. Oh, no, that's me taking it off, saving the threads. I'm going to tell you what, this is a different kind of plumbing. Not just anybody can walk into one of these units and be able to just reconnect the tub drain to this. Old. I'm telling you, I honestly know that because I was that guy who couldn't do it. I used to be strictly commercial. Give me an open floor plan. I'll lay it out on the floor and just hang some pipe in the ceiling, A to B. But this is a different animal. You got to be able to use, you got to be quick on your feet. Or you got to go to Home Depot in the supply house 12 times. It just, but once you get one, two done, you understand what you need to do. Just like, remember I used to be fighting with these things? This was my new my new way. Just saws all the tub shoe right off, and it comes right apart. The first two or three I was really struggling with. I tried other options like people were telling me to, and it turns out that if you just cut it off with a sawzall, it pops right out. Once again, $5,000 to the lucky guy who can get the last tub drain out with one of your cheap-ass Chinese tub tools. Speaking of Chinese, we're using an A, B, and A toe touch drain because I like that uh, they come with these safety covers on them. And uh, we're going to dry fit because I always dry fit the tub drain. I get it all glued up as you see there. It's the only way I could have done that one. And uh, then once it's all set, I go ahead and rub my cock all over it. Just like that'll get, look at, watch, you guys are watching. <laughs> I have yet to have a callback on silicone in about five years. And before that, I did have one sink that I went back to three to four times that I had putty on. And ever since then, I've switched over. So now well, we got the drain done. We're going to give her the old testeroo. And then we're going to go shut the water off uh, down in the basement and get the shower valve replaced. But there's the finished product. It's better than it was. It's going to be accessible to the drain cleaner a lot easier later on down the road. So everybody's favorite gate valve went down in the basement, shutting it off. I know some of you guys are twitching, and I'm not going to show you the install of the new shower valves, but there's two tub drains, two shower valves on the stack. We're turning the water back on. We're running upstairs to make sure all is well, tight. There it is. Shower valve done. Stops are on. And then we're going to go upstairs another flight, and I believe I did the same thing. We got Whip It and Clip It Pex. There you go. That's the Dude, it doesn't get any more Whip It and Clip It than that against the wall over there. New shower valve, new stops, new tub drain, and we're heading home to see what Mrs. M's cooking. Oh, I'm wrong. The finish showed up. So we got it loaded into one unit, and now I brought... I brought two guys with me, or kids, whatever, and uh, they're going to start... What do you call that? dispersing them eh, Epstein's Island they're going to be dispersing them to the rooms because there's 24 of them and I ain't doing that shit alone so have at it boys I just went for a haircut while they were dispersing it to the room it's great so we're on to the Blackstone cooking first recipe of them all Ooh, that's hot can't touch it and uh, let's see what we got going on today Mrs. Mem, Mrs. M's wearing some offensive clothing in this one. My God, girl. I forgot what we were cooking. I got to wait till we see what we dump it down on. What do we got here? We got some chicken. I honestly can't remember. I can't remember what we're cooking. But uh, as we go along, I think she's got some chicken. Jesus, I don't know what we're cooking. She's got me all... Um, What are we doing? This sounds like the first conversation I've ever had with her. Same idea, bumbling my words. But uh, we got chicken, stir fry maybe? I don't know. She got soy sauce and coconut amino on the chicken. And now she's got frozen corn, peas, carrots, and bean sprouts. Mixing that up over there. Slap a little oil on this sucker. And then you got day old rice. You got to make sure that this is day old rice. All right, now that I see the rice, I know where we're at. We're at chicken uh, fried rice. That's what it is. So Mrs. M's chicken fried rice on the Blackstone. 
And then she's gonna slap a couple of eggs right in the middle of there. And uh, what are we gonna do with those? We're gonna scramble them. I can't believe I got a whole nother minute and like 16 seconds to keep talking because I'm running out of shit to say. So just a bunch of babble and nonsense. Get this egg all stirred up in the uh, rice. And uh, what else? This is her first time using it. So she said, "Is that is what's it, does it look all right? Everything looks fine, Mrs. M. So you get it all mixed together, the chicken, the rice, and, uh, you know, the other stuff. A little more coconut amino on there, a little soy sauce for the boys. And uh, then we're going to tray it. We're going to slap it on the uh, tray and bring it in the house. I wish I had some funnier shit to say for you guys, but I'm just running, you know, six minutes of babbling. I just don't have it in me, I guess. So we got it all trayed, and uh, we're going to be bringing it inside to feed the kids. Beautiful smile on that lady. But big Big ups to Mrs. M. She's making 18 meals a day right now and it's with a smile at best. My God. And now let's see if the twins like it. And, oh, we got one. One eight. What you think? Ooh, we got. She gives it a 10. 10 out of 10. All right. And now the other one. But guess what? That was their only two spoonfuls they ate. They ended up throwing the bowls away when we were done. And they moved on to snacks.